in my brain Scream God shady and pop it The sky darkens, my light flashes The plane that I was supposed to be on crashes And burns to ashes I just wish I All right, what's going on, y'all? Today, I reacted to Eminem when I'm gone. Make sure y'all go like Popular Music's video. If you like throwback hip hop reactions, man, Bone Thugs, Tupac, Biggie, Outkast, shit, Eminem. Consider dropping the sub of your boy, boy. We do all of that, man. We do all of it. Appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Hope y'all having a hell of a day. Let's hop right into it. This is actually the second song that I've reacted to by Eminem. Um, the first one being Stan. That song was really, really dark. It's crazy the stuff that come with being a superstar, man. Having people like that who willing to kill themselves because of you, because you didn't write back to them. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my life. Long words, I guess. Have you ever loved someone so much you giving on for? Not the expression, no, literally Shit, giving literally on Literally give that motherfucker your heart and you know you are their armor and you will destroy anyone who would try to Anybody, harm her. But what happens when karma turns right around to bite you and everything you stand for turns on you to spite you? Damn. What happens when you become the main source of a pain? Daddy, look what I made. Dad's gotta go catch a plane. Ah, oh, that's sad. Mommy. I can't find mommy. Where is she? I don't know. Go play. Hey, Haley, baby, your daddy's busy. Daddy's writing the song. The song ain't gonna write itself. I give you one underdog, and you gotta swing by yourself. Then turn right around in that song and tell her you love her. And put hands on a mother who's a spitting image of her. That's Damn, man. Shady. Yeah, baby, Slim Shady's crazy. Shady made me, but tonight Shady's rock of our baby. Huh. When I'm gone, Wait, at the scary. end, is he basically is Slim Shady like an alter ego? Is that what he's trying to say? That shit is dark, like. Did you just tell, bro, like, he felt so guilty about, like, how he basically had to keep brushing his daughter off to focus on his rap career, bro. That's so fucking sad. Like, she like, here, dad, look what I made. Like, writing a song right now, can't, can't, can't look at it right now. That's the thing about any profession, man. When you're just so deep and passionate in it, you can lose sight of, like, the family and shit like that, bro. You... You gotta have that balance for real for you gotta have a balance between the family because you will like grow distant from your family but you also want to focus on your career just gotta have a balance between the family and the passion man i really feel like this was a like an alter ego line he said that slim shady like when he put hands on her mom too i feel like that was basically him saying that this that was his alter ego doing that ah that's dark bro that is dark i'm not gonna lie my baby, huh. when I'm gone, just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you, smiling, and not it and feel it, dang, so baby, don't feel no pain, just smile back, mm. when I'm gone, just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you, smiling, and not it and feel it, dang, so baby, don't feel no pain, just smile like back, that hook is fire. That hook is fire, bro. Ain't just smile. I keep having this dream. I'm pushing Haley on the swing. She keeps screaming. She don't want me to sing. You're making mm. mommy cry. Why? Why is mommy crying? Baby daddy ain't leaving no more. Daddy, you're lying. Damn. You always say that. You always say this is the last time. But you ain't leaving no more. Daddy, you're mine. She's piling boxes in front of the door. Trying to oh, block she's it. Up. Daddy, please. Daddy, don't leave. Daddy, no stopping. Goes in the pocket, pulls out a tiny necklace locket. It's got a picture. This'll keep you safe, Daddy. Take it with ya. I look up, it's just me standing in the mirror. These fucking walls must be talking, cause man, I can hear them. They're saying you got one more chance to do right, and it's tonight. Now go out there and show them that you love them for it's too late. And just as I go to walk out of my bedroom door, it turns to a stage, they're gone, and the spotlight is on, and I'm singing when I'm gone. Just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice. Bro, he does an amazing job of showing you, like, his guilty mind state. Especially when he has to sit up there and lie to his fucking daughter, saying he's not leaving no more, knowing damn well he's finna leave in a couple weeks. Damn, bro. She piling boxes in front of the door, trying to stop him from leaving. Like, damn, bro. That would literally shatter my heart, leaving my daughter. She literally trying to block me from leaving. Like, no, you're not leaving. You're mine. Your career had you for too long. It's my turn. Like, that shit, bro. His song just really puts you in his mind state of how how bad he felt about having to leave his daughter and his relationship with his daughter at the time. God damn, Eminem. You can really paint a good-ass picture, bro. 
Him and Nas, bro. Nas is also another dude who can paint good pictures in your head really good. Also, Tupac. That shit is so dark, man. It's so sad. Every time you hear the sound of my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you smiling. And now that you feel a thing, so baby, don't feel no pain. Just smile back. And when I'm gone, just carry on. Don't mourn. Rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice. Just know that I'm looking down on you smiling. And now that you feel a thing, so baby, don't feel no pain. Just smile back. 60,000 people all jumping out this seat. The curtain closes. They're throwing roses at my my feet. I take a bow and thank you all for coming out. They're screaming so loud. I take one last look at the crowd. I glance down. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Daddy, it's me. Help mommy, your wrists are bleeding. But baby, one well, sweeten. How did you get to sweeten? I followed you, daddy. You told me that you weren't leaving. You lied to me, dad. And now you made mommy sad. And I bought you this coin. It says number one dad. That's all I wanted. I just want to give you this coin. I get the point fine me and mommy are going but baby wait it's too late dad you made your choice now go out there and show them that you love them more than us no they want you more so they keep screaming your name it's no wonder you can't go to sleep just take another pill yeah I bet you you will you rap about it yeah word can keep it real i hear applause all this time i couldn't see how could it be that the curtain is closing on me i turn around Find a gun on the ground, cock it, put it to my brain, scream die shady and pop it. The sky darkens, my light flashes, the plane that I was supposed to be on crashes and burns to ashes. That's when I wake up, alarm clock's ringing, there's birds singing, it's ringing, Haley's outside swinging. I walk right up to Kim and kiss her, tell her I miss her. Haley just smiles and winks at her little sister, almost as if to say, when I'm gone, just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice every time you hear the sound. On my voice, just know that I'm looking down on you, smiling, and not that you feel a thing. So, baby, don't feel no pain, just smile back. What a fucking masterpiece! That last verse was so dark, bro. I was literally at a loss for words. I was at a loss for words, bro. Like, literally, genuinely holding back tears, bro. Ty's daughter called him Marshall instead of dad. That just showed, like, the disconnect at that point. Like, she, was, she ain't wasn't even, she ain't even want to call this man dad no more. Then he said he put the gun to his head and said, die shady. Basically, he was trying to kill his alter ego. That is, like, <sighs> you know, one thing I caught, bro. One thing I caught that was really big brain. There was a, he said something about the swing in each verse. He said something about the swing in each verse and progressively, he kind of like start acknowledging her more and more and more. In the first verse, he didn't even have time for it at all. The second verse, he was out there, you know, he gave her a little push, got her going a little bit. Then he said she had to swing of her own. And then the last verse, he was fully involved with his family on the swings, man. So it like progressively, he got more better and better about it. Like the plane, the plane fucking line. I feel like that was a metaphorical about like the path that he felt he was on. He felt like he was gonna eventually crash and burn if he stayed on his path. I don't know, bro. I gotta go to Genius. I always go to Genius after I listen to these songs, bro, to fully like dissect the lyrics, but. That's what I got from it, our first listen, man. Masterpiece. I mean that, bro. 10 out of 10. Perfect song. All of that. Um, definitely reacted to more Eminem, bro. He has some bangers, bro. Stan and When I'm Gone were both flawless songs, bro. Both dark. Well, this song ended on a light note, but, you know, it was. It had dark parts to it, but definitely more Eminem in the future, man. Appreciate every single one of y'all for watching to the end. That being said, hope y'all stand safe for her. Stay happy. Stay hungry. Stay healthy. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.